what's going on and welcome back to another episode of redefining issued equipment and in this video we're going to be going over the complete disassembly of the kdh plate carrier so that way you guys know how the cutaway system works as well as how to disassemble this in the event that you want to swap out the side plate straps with the arbor arms uh, cummerbund system if you want to go with that upgrade system for this plate carrier so Without further ado, we're gonna dive right into it. It's pretty simple and straightforward. You have a cable cutaway system in the front here, and then you have a couple of straps that hold these side plate pockets to the uh, straps themselves, as well as to the back plate panel. So to kick it off for the cutaway system, you're just gonna unvelcro your cutaway and then pull that out all the way. And then from there, what you might be able to see in the video, but you have these metal uh, loops right here, which are going to release that shoulder strap system, or the shoulder straps for the back plate panel and the front plate panel. And then from here, you're gonna go down to the bottom and you'll have these little uh, loops that are gonna hold all of your buckles in place. So you're just gonna pull those up, allowing your cable uh, cutaway system where the cable passes through the little loop there to come out and that will be pretty much the complete disassembly of the front plate system and uh, if you want to you can always pull the soft body out of here but it's not needed so you can leave that soft body in there so that way you always have that as a backer to your hard plates um, you don't need to take it out you don't need to take it out of any one of these it's pretty lightweight overall, so I would leave it in there when it comes down to it. But if you want to pull those out for whatever reason, clean the plate carrier, you're just gonna unvelcro this flap right there, pull it out, and then it's the same here on the back plate pocket. Uh, you unvelcro this and then it comes out. For the side plates, before I get too far, if you do wanna pull the side plate soft body out, same concept, velcro down here at the bottom, unvelcro that and then that will release those um, or just allow you to pull that soft body straight out of the system. For the back plate section, two ways to disassemble this because most of these little pieces right here are for just your sizing adjustments. So you're going to go in to the back section of the actual plate bag itself and you're going to have these little snap links that are going to un buckle or unsnap and that is going to release your side plates themselves so you can see this is what they look like they have this little loop right here or square loop and it's just going to come undone from there there's six in total three on the left three on the right so they will just come out like so and then up at the very top here for the uh, higher ones you're actually going to have to probably pull these out a little bit um, to expose the D-ring. Sometimes they're tucked away, sometimes they're not, but if they are tucked away. Just pull that all the way out, and then the little snap's going to be right here. These top ones are a little bit more stubborn from what I've noticed compared to the, the ones inside the plate carrier, but that is how all that is going to come undone. And then from there, you just pull everything out. And you have your complete back plate section right there, all set up and ready to go, or completely disconnected. Uh, and then if you want to further disconnect the rest of the stuff, what you'll do, or if, if you want to further disconnect your side plate pockets from the rest of the system, you'll just pull these little molly tabs in that lock that side plate into position. And then that will come undone like so. And same on the other side. Just pinch these together, pull them up. Eventually, it will come out. If I can get this one to cooperate, because this one's a lot more stuck. So, that is all it is. If you notice that these guys start to like fold in like this and start to get hard to work with, wash them, clean them up, there may be dirt, debris, 
and all of that making it pretty rigid when it comes down to it and then what you can do is just put you know a piece of clothing on top of this and then iron it down a little bit and those will form back into place so if you're going to use these guys so that is pretty much the complete disassembly of the entire system if you need to remove the rest of this stuff uh, all you're going to have to do for each one of these straps is remove the strap from the tri-glide like so and that's really it but you really don't need to do that it's just something else that you can do if you absolutely need to but i would keep it all connected and together so that way if you are going to run like an arbor arms cummerbund system you don't lose these little pieces because these little pieces can be very very difficult to find and or near impossible to replace so with that if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment we'll help you out in any way that we can like share and subscribe and we'll see you next time